Hey there, hi there, ho there, back again, BQ on the King of the Mountain Radio YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you are looking for the number one home for the Global Force Wrestling fan. Got a little announcement here, so make sure you're waiting till the very end, and I'll let you guys know what we have in store. So the live events are this weekend. We've been anticipating this for quite some time now. It's been a year and a half since they hit the road. Last time they were on the road in New York, attendance was not good. From what I'm understanding, these first couple shows are doing okay so far. And I commend them. I did it on the, the vlog I did about the importance of casual fans. I commend them for doing things like going out to the minor league ballparks and other, uh, other events locally because reaching out and touching somebody and making that physical contact and that eye to eye is way more effective than posting some stuff on social media or even I think they um, in Connecticut there they they got some uh, radio time there on a major station and apparently it didn't help that that show has been canceled I wish they were a little more transparent about it because the dirt sheets were going to find out but you know they blamed it on logistical issues but basically the attendance for that third show the uh, pre-sale tickets were much lower than the first two so they went ahead and canceled it I'm thinking if they had 200 people, 250 people, they probably would have still pressed on with the show. Um, maybe not. You know, maybe they would have been in the hole if they, if they, they, they know what their minimum number is, basically is what I'm getting at. But that's my personal opinion. If, if it was at about like 250, they would have done the show. So, you know, let's say it was 100 or so, 150. I think that's, that bodes well that the, attendance for the other two shows are are really where they wanted them to be and i think they did a good thing they they the people who got refunded in connecticut they get a uh, two free passes for one of those two shows so you know that's, that's only going to help the attendance even if it's 50 60 people you know what i mean but it's 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 obviously going to help i was doing a little research and the staten island yankees and then the bluefish in connecticut i don't remember what city they're from exactly those are two of the lowest in the league when it comes to attendance usually a major i'm sorry a minor league ballpark i'm sorry a minor league ball game has about four thousand people there on average and these teams are averaging about three thousand from what i understand and the bluefish last year actually got down to about two thousand uh, this was last season so even though there might be some of the lower attended games i think it's still good to get out in front of two three four thousand people and promote a wrestling show you know so i do give them props on that but they canceled the show which is unfortunate you know thank god it didn't you know after they announced it it wasn't um circulating the dirt sheets for days and you know creating this uh this uproar it's you know something people have gotten over already thank god but this is what we're going to do here on the channel hope you're still listening uh, Kyle, who used to be part of the King of the Mountain podcast, he's going to be coming on my channel here. He's now uh, hosting the Impact Heads Radio. He's going to come on my channel. He's going to be at these shows. Uh, he's going to be at the first one for sure. He's 50-50 on the second one, so let's hope he's there. And this is something I'm going to do for all the live events. I will get a hold of somebody who was there, and we'll talk. But he's going to come on, and we're not going to talk about results and booking and things like that, but we're going to talk about the atmosphere, the uh, attendance, the energy of the crowd, the energy of the wrestlers. Because remember, this isn't TV time, these matches. You know, Mario Boca around, Falaba, these guys are KM, going to get some some run here. So I'm really interested to see what they do with the extended time and the extended opportunity. So he's going to come in here, and we're going to hear it from straight from the horse's mouth. No Melter, no Wrestle Zone, no Sports Kita. Nothing. We're going to hear from the horse's mouth. He's going to be sending me some photos, some videos, and I will make sure to get those out on Twitter. Uh, might try to factor them into the YouTube upload as well. But again, Kyle will be on, and this is something I will do with all the live events. We're going to, we're going to talk. We're going to recap. He's going to let us know what it was like at the show. We can't be there. We can't watch it on TV. We don't just want to read about it in the dirt sheet. So that's something I really wanted to do for you guys. And... We really appreciate Kyle for taking the time to come do that for us. So definitely, like I said, guys, please subscribe here at the channel. It's the number one podcast for positive global force wrestling talk. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.